Well, it was absolutely freezing last night. I didn't sleep a wink because it was so cold and I couldn't understand why I was so much colder than last night until we got out of the tent this morning. That, my friend, is ice. That was my towel that I left out to dry and it's now a furry ice ball. English. Okay, day three ahead of us now. It's a 17 kilometer trek. It goes down by about 300 uh, yeah, meters, but then there's a nasty it. 200 meter steep yeah. climb towards the end, which uh, we're all looking forward to. Uh, it's been a frosty night here, so not many people have slept well. Um, so we'll see how we're going to go. So it's day three, Windermere uh, Hut to yeah, Helion Hut. And off we go on day three. Feeling good today. Had a good night's sleep last night, albeit absolutely freezing. Uh, in fact, I slept in my coat, it was that bad. But uh, yeah, today's nice, 17 kilometers. Looking fairly flat with a bit of a uphill at the end. But grrr, eating some of the food, packs a bit lighter, ready to go. Valley. One second. The trusty map. We're about 4k's in on day three from Windermere Hut to uh, Mount Pelion, or Pelion, New Pelion Hut. And the um, go is pretty good. Another 4k's, and then we're going downhill. 4k's down towards Frog Flats, and then a nice steep climb out before we get to our destination. The uh, well earned cup of tea. And he does so well because he's been media trying the power. <laughs> Though he doesn't like to brag. <laughs> Glad we got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We've just come off the walk into this beautiful little enchanted forest. <laughs> nice healthy glug of fresh Tasmanian rainwater. There's our hut. Uh, when you zoom out, it's actually quite a long way to go. Oh, that she go. I thought you were going to go and use your shiwi. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Frog's Flat. We're stopping for lunch after a very hard walk. I'm exhausted. This actually formed my blanket last night. Because <laughs> it was so cold, we had to use my sleeping bag. Like but mind you, I was fine. I was toasting that I even had to take some clothes off and just have my thermals on. Marissa's making us all sick right now because <laughs> me and Niles were so cold we didn't sleep at all. <laughs> Oh, mind you. Poor Ed didn't sleep either because he was in Mauricia's sleeping bag. And then he kept me awake half the night, complaining and moaning about it. Did he hear me moan the first night that I had to use my sleeping bag? No. He used to use his bum to shove me out of the way as I was trying to get close to him. Well, that was a long old trek, uh, 17 kilometers, but we made good time. Setting off at about nine and getting to camp for three, so absolute luxury. We're just settling down for a bit of uh, afternoon siesta. Tea's brewing. Jill or Susie, as we call her, is home making. And the guys are set up as well, just having a little nap. 
Nas is still on the trail. We're in touch by radio. Hopefully she'll be here before midnight. You've done it, well. Wow. Low and hiker <laughs> returned. That's that last bit, I nearly yeah. I was just getting lost in between in those rocks and stuff. I didn't know where to go. Oh. There, was, there were like two different paths. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, found my way, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> Nas has got a pasta vegetable parmesan. Reconstituted, freeze dried, backpackers of pantry meal. Down to watch the sunset. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really though? Is it? Well, lasagna was good last night. It was good? Maybe I was just hungry. <laughs> Come on, it tasted like foam chips. <laughs> we have to wait another five minutes. <laughs> Nars is starving. Just <laughs> warm wait. my hands on it. <sighs> These are crawls. So cute.